And new at noon, President Biden has announced a historic announcement today on student loans. The plan involves forgiveness of up to $10,000 for millions of Americans, as well as an extension of payment deferments. Nancy Cordes is at the White House with those details. Months of uncertainty are over. President Biden is expected to announce today that the government will forgive up to $10,000 in federal student loan debt for Americans who make less than about $125,000 a year. Americans like Dara Zucker. I'd like to see the $10,000 go away. Dara borrowed $40,000 to get her degree. She's been making payments since she graduated in 2016, but with all that interest, she's barely made a dent. I think it is predatory of colleges and schools to go after kids who may not have ever had any understanding of how finances work. The president has been feeling the political pinch from both sides of his own party, with some progressives pushing to wipe out student debt altogether. Right now, student loan debt is holding back people who are trying to buy homes. It's holding back people who are trying to start small businesses. It's even holding back people who want to start families. But some Democrats in battleground states and many Republicans warn of unintended consequences. I worry that we say to colleges, charge whatever you want, we're going to forgive the loan. Canceling student debt would also be grossly unfair to the Americans who worked hard for years to pay off their loans. Today's moves won't apply to students who are about to take out loans. That's the challenge here is that you potentially might spend $360 billion of taxpayer money. At the end of the day, you haven't altered the trajectory of college costs for millions of American families that are going to be going to college in the future. That is a tougher problem to solve. For now, progressives argue eliminating some debt will help to level the playing field. And President Biden is also expected to announce today he is extending the pause on federal student loan payments for another few months. That pause has been in place since the start of the pandemic. Nancy Cordes, CBS News, the White House.